Hello viewers, you're welcome to this very important lecture. Today's lecture is on the reptiles and basically we'll look at the classification of the reptiles. Reptiles are actually uh, tetrapod vertebrates that are characterized by the possession of scales or scutes. Okay, they have scales in their skin as integumentary structures or they possess scutes in the case of the turtles and the tortoises. Okay, so the possession of scales and scute is common to all reptiles and they are known to be poikilothermic. They are cold-blooded organisms. They are cold-blooded organisms. The reptiles belong to the phylum Chordata in the kingdom Animalia and they are vertebrates, so they belong to the sub-phylum uh, Vertebrata and the class Reptilia. Now the class Reptilia is divided into three subclasses, extant reptiles are classified into three subclasses, the subclass Anapsidae, subclass Lepidosaria, subclass Acusaria, and the subclass uh, Anapsidae. Now, the, the subclass Anapsidae consists of the order Chilonia or Testidins, which has the turtles and the tortoises, has the turtles and the tortoises, while the subclass uh, subclass Lepidosaria has the Rhynchocephalia, which are the big reptiles, and it also has the other squamata, which has the lizards. Okay, it has the lizards, uh, snakes, and other members of that, uh, even the Amphisbiana. Now the lizards belong to the the lizards belong to the suborder Sauria while the snakes belong to the suborder Serpentis. The snakes belong to the suborder Serpentis. Then the uh, Amphisbianus belong to the suborder Amphisbiana. Then we also have the uh, subclass Acosaria, which has the other crocodilia, which has the crocodiles, the crocodiles, the, uh, the crocodiles, the gavios, and many of that species. They belong to the other crocodilia, okay? They belong to the other crocodilia. They are the crocodiles. Now, the, what are the distinctive features between each of these groups? Now, the other chilonia in the subclass Anapsidae consists of the turtles, the tortoises, and other uh, known members. Now, the turtles and the tortoises in the other chilonia are known to possess shells and the shells possess scutes. In fact, their shells are integral part of their skeletal system. Okay, now they possess beaks instead of teeth. They, are, they, have, they have beaks, okay, and they, their bodies are enclosed within shells. They're actually tetrapods having both forelimbs and hind limbs, but uh, in some cases, some of their feet are modified to flippers in the case of this sea turtle, okay? While the, those in the subclass uh, Lepidosaria, the Rhynchocephalia are basically beaked reptiles. The Rhynchocephalia are basically beaked reptiles having the Tuatara as a representative, the Tuatara. Now this is uh, a typical example of, um, the, this is a Tuatara, which is a beaked reptile. And this reptile is endemic to New Zealand alone. It's endemic to New Zealand alone and it's not found in other parts of the world. Okay, it's endemic to the New, New Zealand. One very important feature of this reptile in the other rhynchocephalia is the fact that it possesses a third eye on top of its head that is called the parietal eye, okay, which basically enables the tuatara to uh, be able to know whether the temperature of the sun is too high or not. Now, um, we also have the other squamata that has the lizards, okay, the lizards that are characterized by the possession of um, scales and uh, they are actually possessed dry scales and they are actually tetrapods having two hind limbs and two forelimbs. Then the sub other serpentis 
basically has the snakes that are characterized by the fact that they do not have feet. They lack feet for locomotion. And their eyes are permanently open. They, are, they possess lidless eyes. All other reptiles have eyes that have eyelids but the snakes have eyes that are permanently open so whether a snake is sleeping or awake dead or alive the eyes are always permanently open and the fact that they do not have uh, limbs distinguishes them from other groups of reptiles then the amphisbiana are snake-like uh, reptiles but they are uh, uh, sometimes some of them have some kind of rudimentary feet, some kind of small feet, and uh, basically they are they have annular like those of the earthworms, but they are actually reptiles, not common to uh, Africa anyway. Then we have the um, in the subclass Acosaria, we have the crocodiles in the other crocodilia. Now the crocodiles basically. Uh, reptiles they are called the ruling reptiles the crocodiles are called the ruling reptiles in that they are uh, top predators they are top predators and their mouths are uh, 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 adapted for crushing the mouths of the crocodiles are adapted for crushing and one very unique feature of the crocodiles is that they their nostrils and their eyes are adapted for their way, their pattern of feeding in which the mouth the, the the nostrils are the tip of the snout and the eyes are also on top of the head so that this the crocodile can lay an ambush and also be able to capture their prey so far we've been able to look at the classification of reptiles i believe you must have learned one or two things from this very important lesson that we have uh, had on the classification of reptiles. Thanks for watching and please watch more of my videos and you'll be glad you did. Thanks for watching.